Welcome to another Sage training video. This is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to enter a journal using Sage Instant Accounts or Sage 50 Accounts. Simply click on the company module down at the bottom left. You should have a screen similar to this appear. You may have this screen appear, the financial screen. If you do, just go to links and click on nominal ledger. If you have a screen like this appear, that's not a problem as it's the icon at the, the icons at the top that we're going to be using. And either one of these screens does not affect the icons at the top. If we wanted to enter a journal, we have 150 pounds or dollars entered under materials purchased. It's a 5,000 code. And just to keep this very basic, I simply want to move this £150 from materials purchased to transport insurance. So the way we would do that is credit material purchased £150 and debit transport insurance. If we highlight both accounts and click journals, the icon at the top, our journal is pretty much already done for us. It brings up the nominal codes automatically if the accounts are not highlighted then we have a bit more effort to put in so let's highlight those accounts click journals it asks for a journal reference number if you keep a manual record of your journals or some sort of electronic record mm. your journals can be numbered so let's say this is journal 15 that, that we're going to enter you want to enter the post and date, let's just leave it as it is. So 5,000 materials purchased, details, we could put something like booked in error or posted in error. So credit 150, 5102, transport insurance, and we can put something like insurance for quarter one 2014 debit 150 you'll notice in the top right there's a balance this is now showing at zero if we were to enter 140 it would say we have we have 10 credit and it won't let you post the journal you're only be able to post the journal once your debits and credits balance. So let's put 150 in there. It balances. We have 150 credit, 150 debit. Click save. Click yes. And there we have it. Our amount has moved from material purchased to transport insurance. Now, if you find the debits and credits quite confusing, we offer uh, a free bookkeeping course on my YouTube channel. I can put a link to start that course. It will show on the right somewhere here. Just click on that and you can learn more about double entry bookkeeping being debits and credits. Thank you so much for watching.